Po Boy Special here. We've got a really cool test that we're going to do, and it's been on our mind for a long time, and we're going to get rid of some myths and some legends and some doubts, and what in the world are we doing? We've picked a 22 long rifle. We picked this blazer round right here, and it is a 40 grain, and what we're going to do is to see the penetration level of the same bullet shot through a six inch, a four inch, and a two inch barrel. I think it's three inches. Uh, what, three inches. This one's three inches. All right, so we got six, three, and two. What kind of penetration are we gonna get from these different barrel lengths through wet pack with the same ammunition? All right, let's get to it and let's find out. All right, here we go from the North American Arms Black Widow, two inch barrel, and through the wet pack, let's see if we get penetration. All right, next. Three inch barrel. Three inch barrel from a Heritage Arms Rough Rider. And here we go. Move over, there we go. Same thing. Heritage Arms, Rough Rider. This time it is a six inch barrel. All right, let's go see what it did. As you can see, we tried to get the same amount of distance of wet pack. Here we have almost 18 inches, 17 and a half. Let's see the hole. Let's start removing the bricks and see how far the little two inch barrel Gave us a hole. We see a hole here. Oh, that's a, man. That's a massive cavity. Look down here. Take a look at that. That is a big. That's huge. That's huge. All right. Let's Can keep we see going. Daylight through that. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> All right. We're into the fourth brick. I don't see. Do you see an exit? I don't see an exit. No, I really don't. I don't see uh, one on the backstop either back there. Right, well, right here. Yeah, there it is. Entrance right there. Next group of wet pack. All right, so we're looking at about into this wet pack here from 18 inches to about six. So we're looking about 12 inches so far. Let's see if we can find the bullet. All right, we didn't find it in here and it didn't hit the table, so let's keep digging here. We're at about the five inch mark right here left. So um, we're gonna pull this apart and whoa, hey, hey, whoa, whoa, wait a minute, hold it, hold it. Look what I found right here. Oh man. And that's right about at the three and a half inch. So 18 minus four is 14, maybe 14 and a half inches, would you say? Yeah, right at. Through the two inch barrel. All right, let's keep going and see what we get. All right, from the middle lane here, which was the three-inch three inch barrel, <laughs> let's see what we get or don't get. Obviously, here's the hole. So I'm expecting we got out of the small inch, two-inch barrel. Look at the size of that hole. Wow, that's impressive. I bet we can see daylight through that when you pick it up. We got about 14 inches out of the two-inch, so let's see what we get a... No, 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 it's covered up, but still, it's 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 pretty substantial. Look at the next hole. Look at the next hole here. Holy! All right. <laughs> That's right, holy. <laughs> All right, keep it on going. Oh, wow. Did it hit the wood? It may have. Oh, right here. We have an exit right here. There it is. Okay. Right. So, we're keeping on going. We have an exit on that one. Yep, we have one right here. Okay, I'm following you. And uh, you can see it completely went right across the side here. So let's keep going. Not much resist. Oh, there's no hole in the back. Stop. Let's see if we get lucky and find a bullet. Should be right about where you can see. That's about the size of my finger here. That's a pretty sure good size. Is. I don't see anything yet. Is it, are you sure that's not a hole in the back? Stop, move, move the, it would, see if the wet pack is. It would have to right. be up here well, somewhere. No, it looks like it might have, no, no, nothing. No, I don't, I don't see anything. 
I don't see anything. But we did see the complete striation. So we're, it's safe to say that through that um, three inch barrel that we did get at least 18 inches of penetration. I want to check something out. We'll be right back. We kept digging and digging through this uh, channel, this canal here that it went through, and we didn't find it. There's no hole in the backstop here, so we didn't find the bullet. But I did! Oh, yeah, there we go. It got we stuck up between here, and Dad put the uh, measuring tape down there, and it knocked it down, and it bounced a little. So what it did I is it... it it made it to the backstop and fell through the crack right here. Straight down. Straight down. Didn't penetrate, just straight, fell. Just fell down. So we got 18 inches out of the 3 inch. Yeah, and that's where all the energy went. It was done. Yep. All right, let's keep going. The last column we have here is from the 6 inch. And let's see. Obviously, we've got a hole right here. So, no surprise. Oh, wow. Look holy, at that. Holy cow. Good grief. Look at that crater. All right, look, just out of curiosity, look at that. It's like two inches? Looks like it. Oh, wow. All right, let's put this back here. So, obviously, not a problem here with the... Cut it in half. Cut it in half. Oh, man, that's another... Look at that. Woo. That's significant. All right, so we're keeping on going. Definite hole, keep going. Another hole. Another I hole. Let's move that. <laughs> there goes our bullet from the previous oh, one. Oh, there you go. All right, let's see if it went continued. Is that it right here? Yeah, that, that's the hole. All right, let's see. It looks like, well, there's a hole up here too. Look, look there, up here. There's nothing in the backstop. No hole in the backstop at all. So somewhere we've got to find this bullet. Here's a hole right here. I don't even know if we have an exit. Nope, there it is right there. There it is right so there. So it made it through 18 inches and stopped dead on the end. Dead on the end, there it is right there. All right, here we are. We uh, went back to the table with all three of the weapons that we chose here. And I don't know if you can see this, but we'll start here with the North American Arms Black Widow. Here's the bullet that we recovered, and we recovered it at 14 inches, 1-4 inches out of a 2-inch barrel. Next one, out of the 3-inch barrel, here's the bullet that we recovered, and it went all the way to the backstop, but did not penetrate or go into the backstop, so we got 18 inches of wet pack. Out of the 6-inch, Here's the bullet that we recovered. Here's the bullet that we recovered right here. And believe it or not, out of six inch barrel, which is three inches more than the one before it, we got the same distance, same amount of penetration, the same 18 inches. It went all the way to the back of the last wet pack did not go into the backstop, did not penetrate it at all. So these two had similar results 18 inches of wet pack so what can we conclude from all this for your optimal velocity out of a revolver i'd say three inches or better is the way to go you get more penetration out of a three inch and above than you do from a two inch however you're not getting a whole lot for adding the extra inches from three inches so you know, three inches is about perfect for this, wouldn't you say? I'd say so. So if you've got a 22 long rifle with a three-inch barrel, yeah, that, that's pretty much optimal for, for that kind of round. Now that's a revolver. Semi-automatic would be a completely different animal. That's right. Semi-automatic will do different and will test different, but out of these revolvers, we're going to do likes and likes right now. We'll do apples and orange in a different video. Yeah, really, no kidding. <laughs> and I bet, I bet, though, this six-inch barrel here would be a lot more accurate. Absolutely. I, I bet with this very long barrel that you'd probably get a little bit more distance to who knows that's another video that we'll test but for now 14 inches out of a two inch 18 inches out of a three inch 18 inches out of a six inch so you saw them here on the po boy special channel <laughs>